Welcome back to our video module on dynamics. We've looked at position, velocity, and acceleration of relative coordinate frames where we have a fixed point that's rotating in some uh, primed relative frame. Today we'd like to change that and say what happens if instead of you sitting on the merry-go-round and just watching it go around looking at some fixed point we allow that point to move. Today we'll be looking at relative coordinate frames and how to understand velocity if there's a moving point on the primed coordinate frame. So what might that look like? Well let's take a look at our um, at our fixed coordinate frame where the origin of the fixed frame is the same as the origin of the rotating frame. And uh, we can erase everything involved with rotation right there or that omega. And what we see is that now we have an influence due to the rotation of the coordinate frame and we have an influence due to the fact that point P is moving relative to the X prime Y prime coordinate frame. In the situation where we assume that there's no relative motion between the coordinate frames, we see that the velocity of P with respect to O is going to be equal to whatever effect there is due to rotation. But in addition, there will be some velocity of P with respect to the coordinate frame. We'll call the coordinate frame B for usually we use it as a body. Instead of seeing this entire term as the rotation component of the velocity, we can see it as a combination of the uh, rotation of the coordinate frame plus the relative velocity of the particle within the coordinate frame. The second part of our um, of our equation is looking at the translation, the difference between the relative velocity of the or, uh, the second part of our equation, the relative velocities of the coordinate frame is going to remain the same. So for our final velocity of p with respect to o, we'll have one additional term, and that's going to be the velocity of p with respect to the body. This gives us the full velocity when we're looking at a particle in a relative coordinate frame and we're trying to understand it in terms of the fixed coordinate frame. While I'm at it, let's go ahead and erase the velocity of P with respect to that is That was only for a uh, fixed point. And let's scroll down and take a look at the vector form of this, trying to understand it in vectors. Um, the yellow component is going to stay the same. That is the velocity or the relative velocity between the two coordinate frames. And the influence of the rotation, that's going to stay the same. Right here, omega cross r. But we're going to have an additional term, which is the velocity of the point P with respect to the B coordinate frame or the body. That will change our total amount, our total velocity. So now our sum of all of these is going to equal this teal vector right here, the velocity of point P with respect to O. So today we've been able to take a bigger view at the relationship between a rotating frame and the fixed frame.